All right, you guys, I'm going to show you how to make the assembly drawing here. So we're going to go up here on our uh, workspace, change the drawing from design. We want the full assembly, uh, create new and, and template, WPHSA. And then you just hit OK. That rhymes, I guess. It'll start a blank sheet here. Uh, so here's the blank sheet. There we go. There's the view. You can see it's got a front view of this. It's pretty small. We can scale this up to one to one. Uh, there you go. That's the actual size of the thing. On this one, you want uh, visible edges, no hidden lines. Click there. Hit OK. And then we're just going to go ahead and make our three views. We'll do projected view. Click the main view. Go up. Click for the top view. Click for the right side view. And then we'll go diagonal and make a uh, isometric. Um, shade your isometric in, double click it, choose shaded, hit close. And then these ones, all we need here is overall dimensions. So I'll do width up here on the top. I'll go left to right and then come down 3.03. Um, let's see, we could do depth over here in the right side view. So this point right here, that's the furthest left point on the screw. And then maybe the furthest right point on the nut. And then you can go up there. You can see it's almost three quarters of an inch. And then I just need height. So height, you're going to be getting a round thing here. To get the top of that, you need to right click and use quadrant and click there. And then go down here to the bottom of this, right click, quadrant, and click there. And then it should give you a vertical dimension over here to show the height of this. So there we got the overall uh, size of this piece. We got three views. We got an isometric. Um, down here on the bottom where it says title, we're going to change this. So the title of this sheet is going to be assembly. And our uh, project down here is going to be a spinner. Um, and then we hit, you got to hit enter on those and hit finish properties. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to put a note in here. Uh, we're going to put a note that the measurements are in millimeters. And the reason for that is uh, in the U.S., you could pretty much in engineering, you can assume it's inches unless you see otherwise. And since we're using millimeters, we need to say that. So we're just going to say all dimensions in millimeters and then hit close there. And then you can just put this down in the corner and anybody that wants to make this can look at that. Okay, good luck. Have fun. See you on the next one. We'll do the exploded view drawing.